Motown was the theme for week six on Dancing with the Stars, and not only did the stars compete to classic hits performed live by legends like Smokey Robinson, The Temptations, Martha Reeves, and Human Nature, they also competed in a dance marathon to earn extra points. Hey friends, Shandy here. Motown legend herself, Gladys Knight, danced the rumba to The Temptations' My Girl and had memories of the music group herself. And we have done many, 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 many concerts together. We used to be a package for a long, long time on the road. And we had softball teams and we used to whip their butts every time we got yeah. to town. <laughs> now I gotta say, she looked right in her element. And the judges agreed. It's just easy like Sunday morning. Hey, can you there like you go. Fox trotting to Martha Reeves, Jimmy Mack, Marina Menounos, looking like the Mirror Bowl trophy herself, was elegant and graceful on the dance floor. And again, the judges loved it too. In hold, Already. it was correct and formal. Out of hold, it was fun and free. I'll tell you what this was. This was a joy to my eyes, and listening to Martha, a joy to my ears. Well there done. We go. One point shy of perfection last week, Katherine Jenkins took on the Samba last night to The Temptations' number one single, I Can't can't get next to you. And although she's been great all along, I feel this week she really broke away from the pack, letting everyone know that she is here to win. And once again, she finished just one point away from a perfect score. Baby, baby, you can bounce and you can funk the both of you. I'm telling you, the marriage of Brazil with Funky Town has never been more exhilarating. Donald Driver foxtrotted to the temptations the way you do the things you do. And it was a fun, easy, breezy highlight of the night. You know but the judges' comments had Donald on the floor. I know you were disappointed with me last week. Yes. And I felt you were going to come out tonight and show me some fireworks. You didn't. You came out and exploded on this floor. I tell you what. Melissa Gilbert worked hard on her beanie's waltz, but her partner Max wasn't giving her much confidence. And she crosses forward. Unbelievable. Baby, are your legs together? It sucks. However, he seems to always find good in the situation. Could be worse. I don't think so, but how? You could have an ugly partner. Ah, Max, you gotta love how he loves himself. She performed to Smokey Robinson's Ooh Baby Baby, and I gotta say, maybe it was all of Max's verbal abuse, but Melissa nailed it. You worked so hard, and it is finally paying off. Finishing the show off, the stars had a Motown marathon where the last man, or woman, standing received the most points which will be added to the judges' score for the evening. Coming down to William Levy and Katherine Jenkins, the judges chose Katherine as the Motown Marathon winner, giving her and Mark 10 extra points for the evening. Well, there you have it, your Dancing with the Stars recap. Till next time, I'm Shandy, and be sure to subscribe to ENTV for all your entertainment news first. <laughs>